Hello, I'm going to show you how a pathologist performs grading of a case of breast carcinoma. And the system that most pathologists use is the modified scarf bloom richardson system. So this is one of the important prognostic factors in breast carcinoma, the histologic grading. And we only score the invasive component and not the in situ component. So this particular grading system has three parameters. The first we look at is the tubule score. So we score this from one to three. The more tubules there are, the lower the score. And the fewer tubules there are, the higher the score. And the next component is the nuclear score, again from one to three. Uh, three being a tumor with the most nuclear pleomorphism. So a tumor that does not show much nuclear pleomorphism will be scored as one with a moderate degree of pleomorphism, two, and marked pleomorphism would be three. The third component is the mitotic count. And what we do is we go to a high power magnification field and we count 10 consecutive fields, the total number of mitoses all added up in the 10 fields. And then it, depending on the size of the microscope field that you are using, there are cutoffs for a score of one, two and three. And again, a score of three will have the highest number of mitoses. So after we score each individual component, we then add up the three scores. And if the total is between three to five, this is a grade one tumor. If it is six to seven, it is grade two. And eight to nine makes it a grade three tumor. So let's have a look at this practice in real life. Here is a case of invasive ductal carcinoma. And um, if you look carefully, you'll see that this is actually a focus of DCIS or ductal carcinoma in situ. I'm not going to use this for my grading and I will only grade the invasive components. So let's look at tubule score to start off with. And there is actually some tubule formation. We can see small lumina in some of the cell nests. And at the same time, there are some more solid looking areas. So there's a combination of tubule forming areas as well as more solid nests. So this would go into a score of two. And let's look at a well-preserved area in terms of the nuclear score. And if you look at the nuclei, they are moderately pleomorphic. They are not wildly pleomorphic, and yet at the same time, it is not very well differentiated. Hence, the nuclear score will also be two. And for the third component, we will actually count the number of mitoses in 10 consecutive high power fields. So there is one here, two, three, and four. These I won't count because I think they're probably apoptotic figures. So that's four and one. And as I move it along to the next high power field, it's four in two and five in two. And then I'll move it to the next field and count this field again. So it becomes six in three and so on and so forth until I finish 10 high power fields. So in this particular case, it was 12 mitotic figures in 10 high power fields. So how do we make sense of that number? This is a chart provided by the College of American Pathologists Protocol for Pathology Reporting of Invasive Breast Carcinoma. And you can see that they actually provide specific mitotic number cutoffs for the scores of one, two, and three. And of course, the larger your field diameter, the higher these numbers are. My microscope field size is 0 0.56 millimeters. So with a mitotic count of 12 in 10 high power fields, we have here a score of two. So putting this together, we have a tubule score of two, a nuclear score of two, and a mitotic score of two. And therefore, this brings us to a total score of six. And therefore, this is a grade two tumor. So this is how the pathologist grades invasive breast carcinoma. Of course, this only represents 
part of the entire prognostic workup. Other factors that the pathologist also assesses would include the histologic type of tumour, the presence of lymphovascular invasion, the status of the resection margins, and also the hormone receptor status as well as the HER2 expression status.